Welcome to our first video of Track Loader Parts Tech Tips. Today, we're going to be looking at the ASV sprocket assembly. Now, this particular sprocket assembly shown here, you'll find on your RC100 models, RC85, as well as Caterpillar's 267, 77, and 287 models. There are other variations of this sprocket assembly with either more or less rows of rollers. What we'd like to look at today is what you should be doing when you're inspecting your sprocket assembly, what parts you should be looking at that may need replacement, and just the general overall function of the sprocket assembly. What does it do? Well, other than turn the track, you'll find this sprocket is rather unusual from your Bobcat, Takahuchi, or Kubota models. It actually has a two-piece roller design that slides across one another. You have your outer roller, which is on the outside, and your inner roller, where they spin together. Now, the inner roller remains stationary while the outer roller spins over the top of it. If you look at your sprocket, you'll notice that these outer rollers move back and forth. That's to allow clearance. Well, the inner rollers remain stationary and create that separation between the sprocket hub and the sprocket rings. Now, many of you will want to replace these rollers when they start to fall off the machine, but that's really not what you should do. The manufacturer's recommendation is that you replace these rollers when they're more than 50% worn of the original thickness on the roller. If you measure a new roller, it'll spec out to about a quarter inch. So when this roller is an eighth of an inch or less, it's time for replacement. And that goes for both the outer and the inner roller. Now, if you read your service manual, it'll tell you that you can turn these rollers 180 degrees so that the thicker part will be on top and you'll wear out the other side of the roller. You can do that if you want to, but it's just gonna cause more work because as this part wears out, you're gonna have to go back into the roller assembly and replace it all over again. Now keep in mind that when it's time to replace these rollers, you're also going to need new hardware for it. I know that many of you are gonna to wanna to save a buck and reuse your old bolts, but these bolts have been stressed over time and they're possibly going to break as well as your lock nuts, they're good for one, maybe two uses, but the more times that you screw and unscrew the nut, you're wearing out the locking thread, causing a chance for it to back off. Now, you're gonna save maybe $30 reusing your hardware, but what if this bolt breaks? Well, if this bolt snaps off and comes back, you're gonna start to lose these rollers and you're gonna to start to have pieces that are going around loose inside your track, possibly tearing off lugs, or worse, even puncturing and ripping the track. So spend the money up front, and that way you're not finding yourself having to replace an entirely good track because you needed to save a few dollars on reusing your old hardware. Now the other thing that you should look at when you go to replace your sprocket is gonna be these rings. Now as as the sprocket rotates, your track is actually contacting the outer edge of these sprocket rings. And you're going to notice extra wear right on top of these bolt holes. Now, as these get thinner and thinner, it increases the chance that they're going to break. So you're gonna to want to inspect those. And if they look like they might be too thin, go ahead and replace them. Again, it's better to replace the part now then have to repair or replace a rubber track later. You're gonna to want to make sure that this is grade eight because you're gonna to go to your hardware store and they're only going to have grade five available. And if you get that grade five hardware, again, another component that's likely to break and cause you a whole bunch of money being spent on a rubber track that was good and now is destroyed. So make this easy on yourself. At Track Loader Parts, we sell sprocket rebuild kits for each model tractor. Just call your salesperson and ask them your, for the sprocket rebuild kit for your specific model. 
Each rebuild kit comes with the inner sleeves, the outer sleeves, your nuts and bolts, and each sprocket kit will do both sides of the machine, the left side and the right side. You're gonna find that these bolts are going to be much cheaper buying them from track loader parts than going to your hardware store and requesting grade eight hardware. Because remember, you are going to put grade eight hardware on the sprocket, right? Great. So thank you for joining us on our Tech Tips informational series. We look forward to making more informational videos for you in the future. And remember, when fixing your tractor, you can either fix it right or you can fix it twice. So let's make sure we fix it right the first time.